Good morning, little Timmy. What's up, <laughs> Where baby? the fuck have you been? You been missing, nigga. Missing. I've been busy. Yo, you been in all the action. We missed you. I'm bringing Big Dale to talk to us. I've been busy, honey. You've been busy? Yeah, like yesterday I was in Rikers Island. Hey, hey. Found little Timmy. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, what's up Timmy? What's going on? Oh, Dale was coming to find you. <laughs> he said. So you were missing? Say he said you went to the to the pediatrician to get your hands and feet checked and then come back. <laughs> he was gonna go on the cross country uh, dope fiend smacking spree till he found Timmy. <laughs> Where the hell is little Timmy? No, Timmy been busy. Party, Jamon Darnell. Good morning. Good morning. You can have a little difficulty. And little Jimmy got missing. He started gigging some fucking weird. He didn't know where he was, among other things. I was in I was in New York, Shorty. Shout out! Shout out to Rikers Island Prison. I made it out. How was that? <laughs> huh? How was that? It was it was funny they had all the old inmates on one side, all the young ones on one side, all the old inmates they was laughing. Young was inmates you really trying to be hard. Oh they were, they were They was trying to be hard, you know what I mean? They were probably like that. Oh, okay. That nigga that nigga had Kevin Hart. He ain't no oh, Kevin Hart. Hart. That's what that's what the young niggas were saying. You got they to try to be hard. Yeah. Hey, thank God they make uh thank God they make liquid soap now. I know. You gotta take your Bluetooth off, Dale. Yeah, yeah, use your phone speaker. Yeah. That's what I got to do. All right. Bear, stay on here too long with y'all then. Yeah, that's better. Now. That's better. Hey. Yeah, but Nicky, it was, about, it was an old dude. Nigga, like 90 years old. I said, what the fuck you do? Break into my house and fall asleep? This nigga was old as shit. Like, he broke. <laughs> 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 he brought me to somebody house and fell asleep. That was his crowd. Nigga, look, that's why he like he stole the Underground Railroad. Last stop, freedom. <laughs> Did you say that to him? Uh, <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah. Oh my God. Did they die? Did they lie? Yeah, one joke, one joke that they didn't like, though. Uh, what? That's just joke out there. I do it now. I ain't gonna do it because I, I do it. I'm gonna do it in my act now. They ain't like it, but I liked it. Fuck them. <laughs> I got a t-shirt. I made it to Rikers Island. It, it's off the hook, man. You know, you gotta ride across the bridge to get there. Nigga, it, it's, 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 we had to go through 18 doors, nigga, just to get to the front door. I'm like, God damn. They gonna make sure if a motherfucker gets yeah. through one, they gonna have to go through all 17 before they- You ain't getting out of there. We get you know? All right, let's get into it, y'all. We got a lot of shit. So, uh, we yeah, what you got to talk about today? Uh, Miss Monroe coming to join us on some of this shit today. So, um, okay, Aisha Curry, Aisha Curry <laughs> is giving legs for today. Look at that, look at them legs, y'all. Y'all know she was talking a little Shout while. Shout out to Aisha. Uh huh. She was talking a while ago honey, about how nobody would um, crack on her and her self esteem. Her business got styled and, and, and got all the way out of that phone. Kudos. Yeah, yeah, she's going to get that attention now. She's definitely going to get some attention now. She's down. Let's see what Miss Monroe got to say about Miss Ivy. Unless you pull it up and them toes ain't right. <laughs> I know. I know. Now, you ever that shit? Wow. Did you see Aisha's legs? Yes, honey. I saw those freshly neared legs. They was oh, but they was cute. Well, what do you think? What's you up, Maro? Hey, y'all. What's up, Maro? What's up, Maro? Hey, y'all. I mean, that was cute, you know what I'm saying? Her mother clearly used cocoa butter, you know what I'm saying, when she was a baby. You know what I'm saying? She kept her legs nice and smooth. That was nice. And who was I think she had nice legs. I think they was cute, you know. I think she's trying to show off something to get the attention that she's so weird that she don't get, which I don't understand. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm saying, you know what? 
I don't know why I'm even thinking we're going to be able to make this thing uh, like uh, a real uh, broadcast of some sort. I don't know why I was nigga, having... This is like a Brady Bunch reunion, nigga. Oh. All these goddamn twins. I was having... Bro- Here's the story. <laughs> oh, my God, nigga. Oh, like a fucking Brady Bunch, all these goddamn squares, bitch. How many squares are going to get, nigga? You cannot you, you cannot give an old nigga a new app. They will fucking use the shit out of them. <laughs> hey look, it's Friday, man. I, I'm I'm moving, I'm on my way to the doctor, so I went through where I live at. It was a it was a blank spot, so I had a dog. I had a dog spot. Uh, yeah. Y'all stay at the doctor. Nigga, Y'all ain't old, dying, is OST. We got an old STD. Nigga still got gonorrhea. We got one of them old shit. That girl that gave me the goddamn G. What's the G? That gonorrhea. All right, now you just came from Rankers. We ain't gonna call you loose booty. That girl just gave me down with the He went up there. He's doing a special. They were, <laughs> Timmy went in there. They say, Timmy, you want to take a shower before the show? And he was like, uh, yeah, do y'all have uh, liquid soap only? Because okay. <laughs> I don't want to drop it. Well, you, you, you know that was just a play on that was just a play on what he does with the money thing. You know, everybody kind of falling into the. 50 cent getting money from everybody and then clowning them, you know what I'm saying? So so in the story, what happened was he he met he met Biz and told Biz, you know, he loved his music and all that. So they came up with this right here, you know, to, to make fun of what he does, which he's a genius for doing it. Oh, great. We got it. But you know, Biz is comical itself. Yeah, she said, you Hey, look here. Y'all have a great weekend. I'm not going to be able to do this one. So y'all go ahead and finish this up. Y'all have a great weekend. And Because I, I got too much background noise going on. I'm in the car. So I, it's, it's certain things that, that, that you're going to hear. The radio's not on. All right, y'all be good, man. What the fuck is that, Al Green down, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga that play Al Green. <laughs> 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 that nigga love and happiness. I want to wait for the doctor. <laughs> that ain't got, look, that, that ain't got crabs. He got crawfish. He got crawfish. <laughs> you got me shit. Hold on, let's bring Monroe back. Monroe. He got crabs, he got crabs. Uh, yeah. Monroe. Yeah. You said it's a great way to keep the buzz going while he collecting this coinage. Absolutely, because it's reminding these niggas that owe him. He is coming for you, and I don't give a damn how you pay me. Food stamps. I don't care if you pay me in postal stamps, nigga. You're going to pay me the money that you owe me. I want my coinage. Yes, absolutely. He petty. King petty. But I live for it, honey. I am he on that patty. I he let me tell you something. Fifty. Pat, I mean that's patty. He he. he. Uh oh, is that me or is that Timmy? Nah, that's Timmy. <laughs> Fifty cents turning me all kinds of on, honey. And yeah, I told you, Fifty Cent. I, I'm he doing something for me, honey. I take twenty five cents. My whole entire life from that shit. I'm absolutely. I don't like the body absolutely. This, he about his money. You don't like no petty ass dude. You stupid. 
I hear petty ass. Let me tell you something. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but anybody planning a trip to the DR is crazy as the fuck. Absolutely. Okay. Man. DR said doctor, because that's what the fuck you're going to need. No. <laughs> you're saying for dead right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Don't <laughs> return. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is the racism, though. Let me tell you something. You know, go ahead. Huh? That's the racism. Let's- Wait a minute. Uh, when the black she girl, returned when from her honeymoon on the island, a Louisiana woman had fell sick and has since passed away. Her name is her name was Susan Simono. And she and her husband, Keith Williams, traveled to the DR for their honeymoon about a week ago. Well, mm-hmm. a week later, Susan was reportedly rushed to the hospital with fluid in her lungs. Her husband said. They were not aware of the nine other fucking American tourists because they lived on the moon. Absolutely. In the DR, nor did they know that dozens of others had fallen ill. I will never, I would have never, never in the history of fucking ever known. That's what he said. I would have never gone if he had known. He didn't know. He said, and he's being honest with you. I think that nigga was trying to kill his wife. Absolutely. They just got married. He probably just signed the insurance papers. He like that. Oh, perfect. They won't look at me. The Dominican Republic already killing my fuckers. Anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, so, you know what they said yeah. the cause is, right? What? The cause is the alcohol. They uh they're making their own alcohol. Yeah. They're getting ready for human consumption. Wait a yeah. minute. That's what they said they think the cause. Is. Yeah. yeah. They just said that they think it's poison too. That's what they said. They, they think that it's getting in them by the alcohol up, the but at the at the, the hotels. Yeah. But some somebody else died from um being in the goddamn pool. Well, you it know, still I, has I, I, something I, I, to do with I liquid. Speculate. It could be anything at this point. Anything. Whatever it is, it's over there. Don't go. But it, you it, know what? You see the racism though? When the black couple died, the first thing they said was, and they, they felt a bottle of blood pressure. I said, what the fuck is that got to do with anything? <laughs> so both of them died from taking blood pressure medicine. Like, that is some bullshit. Yeah, they did. <laughs> did y'all hear about Dr. Marijuana? Pepsi, she got her PhD. Brady coming out of nowhere with she- All types of shit. Hey, Bray. Bray, who the hey, fuck Bray. is that? Hey, Bray. I'm smoking crack before 12. <laughs> you gonna smoke crack. Make it, it at the lunch. Shit, too. It don't have nothing to do with So is it marijuana in the Pepsi or what? Is that That's on- marijuana, Bray. Welcome to the party, Tabby. Uh, What's up, y'all? Look, look at Lil Timmy. Let me take this down so we can see Lil Timmy's face. She said it was on Twitter. Who, Dr. Pepsi or the marijuana? Dr. That is funny. I love Bri- Bri- Pepsi. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, Brick? We talking about the goddamn DR being deadly. So I don't understand why anybody in their right motherfucking mind would go. I have a friend who just traveled to the DR yesterday and this friend has taken a very significant role in my life and I hope this nigga don't eat or drink nothing because that was the instruction and he was adamant. He had to go and I need this nigga alive at least for the next 12 months because it's going to affect the purse if he drops dead. Oh, no. <laughs> don't do that. You know, you know, I mean, yeah. you know I mean goes to DR though. Yeah, but I wouldn't even stick my dick in nothing over there. I'm not taking no part of my hey, body. Hey, exactly, because hey, it's they, a. It's they, some, they, it seems like it's a fluid, a, like a fluid disease. Now, let's, it's a fluid let's not, let's disease. Let's not mess with the girl who drank some liquor that day. What'd you say? They said what? They said liquor, not vagina. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not going to say that. Uh-uh. Do not. Do not. Try. It, it seems like a fluid. Huh? It seems like it's any kind of fluid, like it's yeah, in the I, pool, I, 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 I ain't doing that. the drinks. I don't. It seems like it's any they type of liquid. There. You know that. Mm-hmm. You know what the thing is? Men been going over there for years, getting on women or whatever. But they might be tired of it. That's you know crazy. I just. You know I'm always with, with that damn liquor. I, I think it is in the liquor because everybody that. Hey, yeah, Every- Bray, you're right. We, they don't need you. They don't want us over there. They never did. You Absolutely. Know what I'm but so, they ain't got shit over there anyway. Well, they That's the thing. Because tourism is 
their only four sources of income. What the fuck he say? You know what I mean? I don't know. It sounded like he was having a stroke in the middle of what he I was saying. I said they may do something because <laughs> tourism is their only source of income. Oh, okay. That's it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, they they can forget that now. They might as well start shipping motherfuckers out of there because that's getting ready to cease. Yeah, I mean, and you made a good point last week, Nikki, when it first started happening. Like, what the fuck is over there that's so special? But I mean, water and sand, no. like they oh, don't produce you nothing. Going to divorce? Go right now. Book your wife a trip to the DR. So much cheaper. <laughs> You a petty little nigga. Thought- petty as shit. He is so petty. <laughs> what? what? You are petty as hell. Uh-huh. I'm gonna book your wife a trip to the DR. Why would you look? Yeah, you. Why you looking? What you had? An ice cream truck? What was you looking for? Who <laughs> <laughs> you talking about me? You just stopped the middle of the conversation. Start looking around. Ice cream. <laughs> 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 You know fat bitches. <laughs> uh, Wait, Dale said and prostitution. So, oh yeah, so over- you would die for some pussy, is what you're saying. Listen, I tell you what, it must be real cheap, and and you know men don't care because Lester said Dick don't think like that. They mm. don't care. They will risk life and limb, okay, to come up and we were, we were, we were, to and come up and go down. Life and limb for that trim. Yes, we will. You know. <laughs> uh, I know that's right. The whole life of you, damn. And he he ain't doing nothing but being honest because that's the fuck he do. No shame, brother. So let's talk about another thing, okay? Y'all remember uh, this bitch, right? Y'all barbecue remember? Becky. Barbecue Becky. So barbecue Becky. Apparently, it we like she we at a place now where we wish that bitch would call the police. Okay, I wish you would call the police, barbecue Becky, off some bullshit because Oregon lawmakers have now passed a law to make it illegal, actually, to prevent the the effort is to prevent racially motivated calls to the police. So the yeah. The bill, which will allow victims to sue if they if they've had the police called on them for what turns out to be discriminatory reasons, which is you know right now the thing to do. So the bill received overwhelming approval from the state senate, passing uh by a landslide, twenty seven to one vote on June the fourth. Oregon said we ain't having this bullshit no more. Okay. We not having it, and if it happens again, bitch, you going down, okay? You're fucking going down. That's good, because that shit is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, for that trend to even take place, and and they just literally fall into it. Like, the latest one I saw was the lady called the police because she t- took her dog to the dog park, and her dog... Uh, your head is cut off. Okay. And her dog started hum- her, well, she had the female dog and the black guy had the, the male dog and his dog started humping her dog and she called the she was calling the police on him because his dog started humping her dog at the dog park that they decided to both go to just un- you know, like that shit is crazy. Like what is the crime in that? That is bananas. Wait a minute. So Dale, let's go do the comments. Dale, we, we were talking about the DR. He said all expense pay hoes. Ain't nobody going over there for that. Hold on. Allie, welcome to the party. Hey, boo. Allie said, <laughs> there's, he said, there's so hoes in the house. I don't know what she's talking about right there. I, I guess she meant no hoes, maybe. Welcome to the party, princess. 67% of their income. So I should have been paying attention to the comments, y'all, because I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> well, Bree said like and share the feed. So yes, I do that there. I guess that's yeah. Like and share that. the feed. Little Timmy is back. Little Timmy, uh, wait a minute. She said yes. As in the DR is cheap. Okay, I got it. I got okay. it. I got it, Allie. That makes sense. They pay for pussy and pesos. 
<laughs> everybody knows pesos is like a thousand to one, okay? Exactly. A thousand pesos and puts it cost a thousand pesos with a dollar. That's just, uh, I, I, I don't see that. I don't understand the reason you would want to die for it. What you saying? You said there's some holes in this house, okay? Timmy, <laughs> you want me to book you a trip in the DR? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Willing to die. We were talking about barbecue back, and you heard the story before you got kicked out? No, nah, my phone got hot. Oh, I bet that okay, so you uh, passed a bill to make it illegal for some of those frivolous calls like they've been making on black people for bullshit. Right. And Monroe described a scenario right. where a dog, uh, some man's dog, started humping some white person's dog. And she called the police. She called the police. Uh -huh. the that's dog. rape. That's, the, that's, really can't, that's me too movement. You can't do that. <laughs> yeah. You motherfucker went up to that me too movement so goddamn fun. Don't. <laughs> I can not. Did she call the dog police? No, she yes. called the regular police. She called the police on the man, the black man, because the man was not trying to get his dog. He wasn't trying to like move his dog, and he like my dog is neutered. Like he not gonna get her pregnant. Like this, right, what you want me to do? She well, was like, get your dog. Why didn't he get your dog? Because because you know we get you know black people. Oh, he fucking the shot. <laughs> no, he's ah! out of that bitch. <laughs> no, you know black people we gonna see that shit. Yo, he, yo, he fucking shot at me. Yo, you don't get shit fucked out of yo. Look, ah! <laughs> that's how black people are. We gonna see that shit. Uh, yo, that my dog's setting up all in your dog. Yo, root, 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 root. We on a twenty minute delay, y'all. <laughs> We not even on the little three second delay. She on a twenty minute delay. She said everything is racially charged. Dogs, Dominican. I love Brie. Brie got, you know Brie got ADHD. You make little Brie. She just jump up and start vacuuming. I love Brie. Brie on every day. Yeah. You know about ADHD? Yeah. You making them? You making love to her? I'm gonna get up and start vacuuming. Maybe why you vacuuming? Why that happen one time? Right. I was um because you know I'm a little ADD. I was doing it with somebody and I was, you know, like doing the business. <laughs> I was giving them some head and I just bust out laughing because I had remembered something <laughs> from before. And that nigga looked at me and he said, fuck this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the funniest thing I had ever had in my life. And That's the thought that came into my mind was like a thought about something that I had seen, like a joke or something. And it just cracked me up. Your you know heart wasn't in this? it, girl. You know what I'm about this? No matter how bad it is, we're we going to let you finish. We're going to let you finish. I don't give a what you say. I don't give a what you do. You're going to finish that head. I don't give a what you say. That head will <laughs> get finished today. I'm not going to kick you out. <laughs> You can laugh all you that want. is funny. Yeah, who's your fuck to? Who's your fuck to? Dogs. She said her bipolarness is kicking in. Okay, Bree. Well, welcome to the bipolar party, baby, because you just right for us. I don't know what happened. I told, I told you. I told, hey, Bree. Hey, Bree. You just because one legal, Bree. You ain't got to smoke. <laughs> I don't know what happened to my bro. So now white people calling out on dogs. When dogs have sex, now white people calling on dogs, man. I'm on dogs. Listen, they ain't nobody. It's nothing sacred. Nothing. 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 No one cares about dogs, about people, about anything. But I gotta say, I'm I'm really like tripping about this whole DR business because I think anybody who goes to the DR must live on the fucking moon because there's no way I would go over there. I wouldn't even get off the plane. This mm -hmm. guy that I knew said his friend bought a place in the DR. What the fuck for? I have no idea. But I would knock on the motherfucking DR door and say, nigga, come out. Come outside. Come outside. <laughs> come in there. I'll go right to the DR line. I'm not coming in. I don't give a fuck what you bought over there. You would have to buy the DR, nigga, for me to come. Yeah. I'm not coming. But you know what? Makes you mad about the government. Ten people did. He told they isolated incidents. How the fuck is ten people isolated incidents? That ain't isolated. I don't know what happened, but she's still here. Hey, boo, you know you know in here because we can't see you. 
Yeah, it's 10 isolated incidents, but it's another 8,000 that, you know, are yeah. reported. Then is those ones where the people just got sick. But right. ever the case, I'm not fucking with it, just in case. Okay? So here's the thing. Michael Jackson. I heard. Michael Jackson. Okay, I don't know what happened. But we running out of time. Let's get this one in real quick. Put, All put right. them on row up. They look the same. <laughs> <laughs> you are always the petty one, Timmy. You petty as shit. Look, Michael Jackson turned to ash. Michael Jackson has been dead for almost 10 years and was just recently cremated a few days ago. In his memory, his children wear his remains around their neck. A source says that there are over 11 more alleged what alleged victims waiting to come forward. What the fuck is she? This I think she put these stories together. Yeah. But anyway. But you know what? My thing is, why did he wait so long to cremate them? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Ten years though. Ten years to cremate this dude. And as a matter of fact. Is Michael Jackson supposed to be that close to the kids? I don't know. Really to, that kid, they got ready. Ain't that a violation? He ain't supposed to be that close to the kids, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he he violating as he did. How you violate the law after you did? You ain't supposed to be that close to the kids, Michael. Lou, Dale said my rope flushed and cut off the internet. <laughs> Y'all petty as shit. Monroe said, fuck you, Timmy, you petty munchkin. <laughs> Look, y'all are so petty. Yeah, but that's, but yeah. they, you know what, you know what got me? Why do you keep entertaining these victims of Michael Jackson? He's not here to defend himself. You know what I mean? No. I'm he's, not, he's not here. I don't know. But you know what I mean? Stop trying to get famous over a dead guy. He did. He can't defend himself. I tell you what. I don't know. I think that Michael Jackson is going to be dead a hundred years before uh, anybody actually entertains the fact that this motherfucker is long gone. Because what y'all don't know, what y'all don't know is that Prince touched me. <laughs> I was touched by Prince. I'm going to Oprah. Yeah. <laughs> you going to Oprah? I'm going to do a whole session for your ass. Yep. That nigga licked his finger first. Remember, right by, yeah. remember Oprah did the special for Tyler Perry being touched? Huh? Remember Oprah did the special for Tyler Perry when yeah. Tyler Perry came out saying that he was touched as a child? Tyler Perry said his body betrayed him, so that must mean, you know, like he got off or something, but he didn't yeah. get off. He was molested. Tyler Perry said he was molested. But I'm just tripping about Michael Jackson and them waiting all this time. Man. That man. Huh. Shit, 10 years, you was damn near ashes anyway, wasn't you? Oh, okay, Monroe is saying no. It was 11 more people have come forward saying he sexually assaulted them. Mm. Oh, yeah, I knew that was coming. I, I knew that, though. Like I said, but he's dead. I, I, you know what? He can't defend himself, so I don't want to hear none of that shit. I, can't, I don't want to hear that. None of it, because there's no point. There's right. no point. There's zero point. I know for a fact, like, I got a story to tell. I was sexually assaulted by Jane Brown. Okay. <laughs> Did he have whipple without the perm, nigga? <laughs> that, that was before the perm. That was before the perm. Before the perm. He always had a perm. That nigga was born with a perm. He had a perm and a pacifier. <laughs> he always had a perm. I got, I'm going to tell you. He had a perm. He came in butt naked with a sequence jacket and some goddamn gator shoes. I knew something was wrong. <laughs> I knew James. I said, James, this ain't the time, James. You don't know me like that. All right, man. We got to get out of here, Timmy. What you got going on this weekend? Uh, <laughs> after New York last night, I was in New York for uh, Brooklyn, uh, at the, at the Lindenwood Diner and the jail. Tomorrow, I'll be in New York again for two shows, two church shows tomorrow. And then Monday, I'll be back in New York at the Havana Club in Brooklyn, New York, and then the Bronx. And oh. then Wednesday, I'll be back at Rikers Island for two more shows and back in Lindenwood Diner hosting a show for Damon Williams. So I'll be busy. Okay. You doing your thing, son. Yeah, I've been in New York. New York has been great. Shout out to New York, man. New York is, is, is amazing. 
All right. Congratulations, mister. We are going to cut it. Welcome back. This week I'm moving around quite a bit. I got a couple things I'm working on, but I can't say yet. So I will be in and out of the city and in and out of probably consciousness. Cause it's getting it's getting heavy. I'm ready though, little Timmy. You ready? We ready? Bree said Timmy going to the Dominican Republic. I don't damn think. right. I don't damn think. right. Timmy will not be getting that toxic Republic pussy. Not yes, on. My I will. Yes, I will. Yes, no. I will. Unless until they make the DR condoms, which will cover every inch of your body and let no liquid, soil, or anything touch you, nobody I know is going to the DR. Except that yeah. nigga over the visitor's friend that just bought that house. I pray he returns because I need my money, nigga. <laughs> you need your money? You know who you are. Yeah, so we, so we, big things about to happen for me and Nikki. Mm hmm. So we got this thing out, though. Pop! We got some things going on right now. So, everybody, just y'all stay tuned, man. Hashtag die with the lie. That's right. That die with the lie. That's right, big deal. Die. Just like you told that girl, that bump was a hair bump. Die with the lie, Dell. That's why you're at the doctor. Today. The doctor. <laughs> so it was a hair bump. She said, nigga, you got 50 hair bumps. 50 hair bumps, Dell. Look, it's scabies. <laughs> anyway, ah, like and share this feed, man. We are in here each and every weekday morning. We laughing. We're doing what we love. Me and little Timmy and Big Dell and sometimes Monroe. We're gonna be working. Shout out to Monroe. Shout out to Monroe for holding us down, man. Monroe, Shout out to Monroe. She rocked that thing out, and we'll bring her back one day next. I'm week. sorry. Michael Jackson, shout out for Michael Jackson, shout out for Mike Jackson Jr. <laughs> shout out for MJ Jr. for holding us down. Yeah, that's that's Michael Jackson that got cremated. But anyway, <laughs> we'll be back next week with a, a whole new set of shit to talk about because we in here, we're talking about anything and everything. And absolutely and nothing. Because we are the most. I'm prepared, prepared to show your ass will ever be on what's ever seen. This right here, if you look like you're looking for perfection. Oh, you looking for your life to get better? Take your ass to another show. This ain't it. That's right. Don't come in here with your motherfucking TV expectations because you ain't going to find it here. Don't, don't promote shit. Don't brag about shit. shit. Okay? We out. Right. Peace. Peace.